today we will see some interesting examples related to histogram. Vinita had to know how many people are literate in her village. To find out, Vinita conducted a survey in the village. The information obtained from the survey was presented by Vinita in the frequency distribution table shown below. Can you represent this information as a histogram? In the given table, the width of all class intervals is not the same. Here, we have to make suitable changes in the lengths so that the area of rectangles is proportional to the frequency of the class interval. For this, we will first find the width of each class interval and choose the lowest class width. That is, here we will choose 10. Now, we will change the lengths of the rectangles in such a way that class width is proportional to 10. For this, we will divide the frequency of each class interval by its class width and multiply it by the minimum class width of 10. Thus, the length of the rectangle for the age group 10 to 20 will be 360 divided by 10 multiplied by 10 is equal to 360. Since the class width of the class interval 10 to 20 is already 10, therefore, there was no change in the length of its rectangle. Similarly, we will find the length of rectangles for all age group. Now, we will show the age groups on the x-axis and the number of literate people on the y-axis. For this, we will take 1 unit is equal to 10 years on the x-axis and 1 unit is equal to 40 persons on the y-axis. Since we are starting with 10 on the x-axis, we will thus make a kink symbol indicating that we are not showing numbers from 0 to 10. Now, we will draw the rectangle by keeping the width of the rectangle 10 and the length of the rectangle 360 for the age group 10 to 20. Similarly, we will draw the rectangle by taking suitable width and length for all age groups. In this way, we will complete the histogram. Thus, we have represented the information given as a histogram. Next example, Shruti is a reporter. To publish the news in the newspaper, Shruti studied the change in the price of 14.2 kg of liquefied petroleum gas, that is LPG, from the year 2006 to 2012. The information received was thus represented as a histogram and printed in the newspaper. Now, read this histogram and answer the questions below. The histogram shown here shows the change in the price of LPG over different years, in which the x-axis represent years and y-axis represent price of LPG per 14.2 kg. Here, the width of each class interval is the same, that is, 1 year, and the scale of y-axis in 1 unit is equal to 100 rupees. Look at the histogram and find out for how many years the price of liquefied petroleum gas, that is LPG, is less than 500 rupees. Here, we see that price of liquefied petroleum gas is less than 500 rupees in the year intervals 2006 to 2007, 2007 to 2008, 2008 to 2009. Here, the width of each class is one year. Therefore, we can say that the price of LPG has been less than 500 rupees for three years. Can you tell what is the percentage increase in LPG price in the year 2008 as compared to year 2007? Here, the price of LPG in 2008 is 420 and in 2007, the price of LPG is 340. In this way, the price of LPG increased from rupees 420 minus rupees 340 is equal to rupees 80 from the year 2007 to 2008. 
This increase has been made at 340 rupees. So, we will consider 340 as the base. In this way, the price of LPG has increased by 23.53%. Look at the histogram and find out how many years price of LPG ranged from 500 rupees to 800 rupees. In the year 2009-2010, in the year 2010-2011, class intervals, the price of LPG is between 500 and 800. So, we can say that in two years, the price of LPG ranged from 500 rupees to 800 rupees. Now, pause the video and try to make a histogram with this information. Today, we have seen some interesting examples related to histogram. In the next video, we will see some misconceptions related to them.